God, brothers and sisters, and welcome back again to my channel for another powerful moment of inspiration. As usual, our inspirations come from the word of the Lord. And today we want to see a powerful story in the book of Judges 16. And one thing about this story is the story of a warrior. And the message is, it's not yet over. Now, when a warrior falls, the ground shakes. And when a warrior falls, people decide to do different things. Some people decide to celebrate the fall of a warrior. Other people decide to sympathize with the warrior. But Samson was not our day-to-day -day warrior. He was a different warrior. He was ordained and appointed for, by God for a mission at a season that was ordained. And one thing about this warrior, he was known of killing a thousand Philistines. Can you imagine that? Killing a thousand Philistines with a bone of a donkey. That is amazing because the power of God was upon him. He was also known of killing a lion. So Samson was not just another kind of a warrior. The power of God moved greatly in him. And as usual, when your mission is great, the devil comes to the mission. Now the devil was in a mission to put down a warrior. And the devil uses Delilah. Delilah was a beautiful woman. But she was not just beautiful. She was a bait. A bait on a mission to fall a warrior. That is sad. That is something that happens every other single day. And what does Samson do? Samson plays to the dice of Delilah. And on this dice of Delilah, Samson is shaved. Samson is shaved of his pride. Samson is shaved of his power. Samson, the powerful man is made powerless. And Delilah does not stop there. Delilah mocks the fallen warrior. Delilah laughs at the fallen warrior. I can imagine Delilah dancing and singing, come and see, I have for, I've made Samson to fall. And at this point, his eyes are pricked out. They are removed. The devil will always remove your sight so that you cannot see the purpose and the mission that God has for you. And one thing that makes me sad is after falling, the Philistines, the same, same people that God had ordained him to come and, and, and save the Israelites from, to come and deliver the Israelites from, they're the same people that now start mocking him. They start making him dance for them. I can imagine how many times they would bring him and make him dance to amuse them. To amuse them. And you can imagine the shame and the pain that Samson would go through every other single day. Children of God, that is the same shame we go through. I don't know where you have been shaved from. I don't know what the Lila has done for you. But one thing I am sure of, it is not over. It was not over for Samson, my brothers and sisters. It is not over for you. I don't know how far you have fallen, but the Bible reminds me that the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy in the book of... But one thing is for sure, that if he has not killed you, he has not finished you. You have not gone down yet. You can still arise from where you have fallen from because our God is a God of restoration. Brothers and sisters, the story that we are reading about today, when Samson realized that his power did not come from, from justice, from the, that bow, that, that bone that he killed the Philistines from, when he realized that being shaved did not finish his power, what he did, he realized that his power came from the living God. He came and he told the young lad, come kindly show me where to go. And he held that war and he told God one more time, God. He went back to his mission. He went back to his purpose. He went back to the one that gave him power. And he knew one thing, that the devil tried to abort my mission, but my mission is not yet aborted. Because even if the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy, down there the Bible says that, but I have come so that you may have life and have it in abundance. Brothers and sisters, the one in you is greater than the one who is in the world. When Samson realized that, and he called upon the, the Lord, 
the Lord had the voice of Samson. Warrior, the Lord is listening to your voice today. You can call on God. You still have time to call on God. If you're not dead yet, you still have time. I want you to pray to the Lord. Shake off that dirt. Shake off that dirt. Pick up those broken pieces. Arise, brothers, arise. And shut off the noise of the Philistines. Shut off the noise of the Philistines. Yes, they have laughed at you. They have mocked you. You have been used as an example. I don't know of that man of God. You are saying they have used me as an example to shame me among the other men of God. The Lord is saying, I am not yet over with you. I am not through with you. You are being used in the praise and worship. God used you powerfully and you fell. And you are down there and you're saying, I cannot rise up again. Come on, arise. Use your music to change the world. Arise and shake up the dust. And tell God, God, one more time, use me in my music ministry. My, my, my friend, your marriage has broken down. The people are using it to, to give testimonies. Do you know somebody's marriage broke down? The Lord is saying, I am not through with your marriage yet. Come on, arise. Pick the broken pieces. Take them to the Lord because the Lord is going to restore you today. You have power inside you. You have the power of God. God has given you power. Let me tell you one thing. Your power did not come from your money. Your power did not come from your association. Your power did not come from your voice. Your power did not come from your mega church. Your power came from the Lord. You have time to call him and say, One more time, Lord. The Bible is telling you that he came so that you may have life. And not just have life, but have it in abundance. Have it in abundance. When Samson cried to the Lord, the warrior was back. The warrior was back. This time the world shook and it did not shake because he fell. It shook because he died with more Philistines than he has ever killed. Your testimony will be bigger, my brother and sister. Your testimony will be bigger. The things God is going to do with you will be greater than before. You just need to arise and tell God one more time. I don't know who you are. But I'm telling God, where I had fell, oh Lord, use me one more time. Use me one more time. Warriors of Christ. I call you warriors because your warriors ordained for a season like this. You are ordained for this generation. You cannot afford to sit down and cry and mourn. You must wake up and tell God one more time. Brothers and sisters, it is not over yet. It is not over yet. Until God says it is, it is not. So arise and shine for your light has come. God bless you. Thank you for again joining my channel. As usual, please, please, please share this broadcast. Share it so that it may help that warrior that is sitting down broken. Share it with your people, your friends, your relatives. Share and God bless we bless you. Welcome back again to this channel another time for another powerful moment of inspiration. God bless you.